Hello everyone, this is Rebel. Today let me introduce you to the latest 1.2.2 Smooth Mix Imaged Video V2 version and SVI 2.0 Pro. The Smooth Mix model is an uncensored image to video generation model. Using it, you can make an image into a video, like changing the clothes of the character, adding or removing stuff from the characters, making the human in the image move, jump or do other things. Just use your imagination. But cautions first. Do not use it on real humans. Only use it within the bounds of the law. You are fully responsible for everything you generate. Here I just using it for studying purpose. And SVI Pro is a long video generation technology. You can see stable video infinity. Infinite length video generation with error recycling. With these two, you can create anything you want censored or not. But this model is not fully open to download yet. Uh, you need to use Yellow Bus to buy it on Civitai. A small price for his great contribution. I recommend you do it. If not, I have paid it. You can use my Hugging Face link to download the models. You can see here. It will be open to download in 10 days. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use them in ConfUI step by step through some ready to use workflows. Make sure you watch the whole video so you don't miss anything vital. Let's take a look at the workflow first. I have uploaded the workflow to Running Hub, the cloud computer platform I've been using to develop workflows and test new ideas. Also free and much faster than my local GPU. 1000 computing power points for the first time registration and 100 points for daily login. Here you don't need to set up or download anything. Just click and run. At first glance, this workflow looks complicated. But the core parts are just this model loading part. Here you can see the video setting group and the short one group. Other parts mostly just repeated extension. Like this short one two group is a copy of the short one group. Only with a image batch extend node to combine video clips. And the shot 3 group is exactly the same as shot 2 group. By default, each shot group is a 5 second video clip. 3 shots here is 15 second video. If you want more, just copy the last shot group and paste it after this. Press Ctrl and select this group. Ctrl C, click and then press Ctrl V. A new group added and link the previous latent to the result latent in the previous group and then link the output to this image expand node here and then link this output group to this one sorry this one link it for the final video and added another prompt group here repeat the same select and press Ctrl C and the Ctrl V here. Set the name to 4. And set the seed to 4. Click OK. And then change the group name to 4 accordingly. Also this one. Short 4 group. And reselect the conditioning. Select positive 4 and negative 4. And the seed 4. And that's it. Another 5 second video has been added. On the left side, you can use a group bypasser to disable or enable the groups you want for faster iteration. For example, you can bypass all other short groups and only use short one group. Bypass, you can see, they are all disabled. And then adjust the prompt of group 1. This prompt 1 group is corresponding to short one group. Prompt 2 group is corresponding to short 2 group. Adjust the prompt here and adjust the seeds here until you are satisfied with the result. And then fix the seed and fix the prompt. Enable short group 2. Repeat the same process. Adjust the seed and the prompt until you are satisfied with the result and then fix the seed and the prompt. This way, when you iterate, the short group 2, the short group 1 will not be executed again since you have fixed the seed and prompt. This really saves your time. And then after you are satisfied with the short group 2, 
you could enable shard 3 and shard 4 and then repeat the process. This is the best way I found to iterate and to create a better video in, a, in less time. Above the group bypasser is the note about all the models used in this workflow. If you run this workflow locally, open the links and download the model files to the specified place. If you are new to Configure, you need to install Configure first. I will also provide a detailed Configure installation guide in the video description below, just in case you might need it. Now let's dive deeper into this workflow. In this workflow, I used a node from Wallen for SVI long video implementation. This one, the Confui 122FMLF node. Please give him a star if you can. I already gave him a star. This node supports FVI long video generation and dynamic enhancements, which means you can fix the slow motion in the video. Just adjust this structural repulsion boost value here. The default is 1, meaning no boost. 1.2 to 1.3. Let's take a check at the dock. 1.2 and 1.3 slightly enhancement, suitable for most scenarios. 1.4 to 1.5 medium enhancement, suitable for scenarios requiring significant dynamics. And 1.6 to 2.0, strong enhancement. But you need to be aware that this may affect the color stability. Back to the workflow. Other parts of the settings, you don't need to touch them. I spent two nights optimizing this. Too busy recently. But if you insist, you can go to the repo page I just visited for more details. It is in Chinese originally. But you can use Google Translate to translate it to English just like me. And the model part. I did not use the recommended setting by the author of the model, since I found that the recommended settings is not working so well with SVI 2.0 Pro lore. It's lore. The result is always has some kind of blur in them. No matter how I adjust the, the settings, the movements were fine, though. And then it occurred to me this may be due to the low noise speed up lore. We all know that the high noise stage is for motion and the low noise stage is for details. And this version of the smooth mix do not have a speed up lower baked in it. So we need to add an extra lower, extra speed up lower. So I tested many lowers, finally got this lower from the LightX 2V team. It is a text to video lower, but works quite well in this workflow. And this one is the lower recommended by the author. I did not change it in the high noise stage. The author recommended using the same lore in both stage, but I found that didn't work well, so I changed it to this lore. And here's a speed up loop. If you have Triton and Sage Attention installed on your local PC, you can enable this group. And the GGUF version of the model is also available. If you have a low VRAM GPU, you could try this version. And pay attention to the shift value here in this model sampling SD3 node. If you found color shifting in the result, try increasing these two values to 10, 12, or higher. It might help to fix the color issue. Below is the video setting group. You can upload the reference image, set up the out resolution. If you don't have enough VRAM, try lower this value to 10, 24, or lower. But if you have a powerful GPU, you can set it bigger for better quality. The steps here. One is the total step. Another is the split step. With the total steps of eight, the split steps of four here means four steps in high noise case sampler and four steps in low noise case sampler. If you found the dynamics are not enough in your result, you could try increasing the split step to six, which means six steps of high noise case sampler and two steps of low noise case sampler. This way you could somehow increase the dynamics in the result. As we said before, the high noise stage is in charge of the motion and the low noise is for details. Below are the frame rate and the frame counts. If you have a powerful GPU, you could increase this value. 81 frame count with a frame rate of 16 means a five second video. On the left here, I also build a pro auto prompt group here. It is optional, basically. You can write the prompt for you if you don't want to write the prompt yourself. 
but it is quite raw and may not follow your intent well. Good for testing. You could copy the prompts and then paste it here and then adjust it. It's up to you. And that's all for the workflow explanation. Here's an example I made earlier using very simple prompt. Look for the hands up and the screaming. In the safe video group, I used a simple upscale node to double the resolution and another interpolation node to increase the frame rate to make it clearer and smoother. You can see the color and the face identity of the woman barely changed. This is the original one, kind of blurry. This one is much clearer. And I can see no cut signs in the workflow. It's quite smooth. Let's sync the preview. See? So smooth. And the face identity and the color barely shift. This model and SVI are really amazing. Work like a charm. And one more thing about the one video. According to someone close to the one video development team, one 2.5 is about to be open sourced. Now that they have a strong competitor, the latest LTX 2.0 which is a native multimodal model that can generate a video with synchronized audio, just like 1.2.5 or VO3, thanks to LTX 2.0. Good competition will only make things better. And that's all for today's video. If you think it is helpful, please like, share the video, and subscribe for more. If you have any questions or good ideas, please share them in the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you.